Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Day. It's me, Ella. This is Vlogtober Day 3. <laughs> I'm sitting here on the couch relaxing today. If you saw my video that came out earlier about the National Butterfly Day, I just literally recorded it. <laughs> so I'm recording this clip now because I'm probably not going to ever feel like recording much later today either. Just tired today. Just one of those days. So here's my little butterfly that I made this morning. It's cute. I made that while watching Jesse play a video game. But anyways, I'm going to open up my next bag. This is my Swap Day 3. It's the vacuum <laughs> from Hocus Pocus that they fly on. So, yeah. Come, we fly. <laughs> the tape's already peeled, I think, because it's hot in here. Our house has been hot the last few days. So, like, the washi tape is unsticky. <laughs> okay, we go. Ooh. It is Red Heart Bright Yellow. I think I put some... I think we traded the same yards. It's pretty funny. But it's a pretty bright yellow. That will look good on my spider blanket. And then there's another little bag in there. Another little kitty bag. Let's see what's in here. So there's a sticker that says Come We Fly. Ooh, got a lappy puppy. I can't get it out. Okay, ah! It's got a banana laugh taffy, which are my brother's favorite. <laughs> But I'm going to eat that. That's going to my special candy. And this is like a lemon candy. Which I like lemon candy too. So these are going in my special hoard that I have. of My hidden sweets. <laughs> and my sticker. I'm going to save my stickers. Because I got, I got these ones. And then I got some from some other people. I think last year I got some. And I want to put them on my crochet cart. My three tier cart. I still haven't gotten around to doing that. And I also bought some Tim Burton ones myself. That I want to put on there. And hold on a second. And uh, I think I'll put some on my computer desk. But anyways, side note. I'm going to crochet. Okay. I had to just help Jesse. His tablet disconnected from the TV. So I had to. Whoop, be careful. <laughs> he's not watching where he's walking. He also stole my taffy. He's seen it before I could put it up. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I'll still eat the lemon candy. Anyways, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. I'm gonna sit in there. I might sit in here. I don't know. I'll make up my mind. Put this on my spider um, square. It's gonna look good. The yellow's gonna pop it really good. And let's see here. I need to make two more red squares for my Christmas blanket. And then I can start working on this the snowman appliques. Uh, they should be easy. I think they're just white and black yarn. And then you just stitch on. Well, there's probably orange too because of the nose. I don't know. I haven't looked at the pattern. I forgot. <laughs> but I'm gonna sit in there and do that. And just chill. I'm hoping I'll feel better tomorrow so I can get some stuff done. So I got a bunch of fabric pulled out that I want to start cutting, but I gotta wait till I feel have energy to do it. <laughs> but um, the next few shop updates will be drawstring packs because they're easier for me to make right now. And uh, yeah, let's see, here's October. I'll, I'll do some more bag updates October, November, and maybe early December. But um, after December, after, I don't know, maybe the second week of December, I probably will not be doing any more sewing until, probably in, until after June is born. Because <laughs> um, I like to stop sewing. The last few years I always stop in December so that I can enjoy Christmas time with my family. And then this year I'm going to be super pregnant in January. Normally it's when I start back up. But I'm going to be like ready to pop in January. She's due early February. But she could come earlier than that because of my, my history. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> Might have her in January sometime or early February. Or if everything stays healthy, I could have her, you know, around Valentine's Day. That would be cool. To keep, actually get to stay pregnant the right amount of time. <laughs> I got induced with Jesse just a little bit early. Um, but it would be nice to just have a regular pregnancy and go into labor. <laughs> instead of having to be put into labor. But uh, we'll see, I guess. But my health is already kind of all over the place. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a lot like Jesse's. <laughs> it might be maybe sooner. Because I know that you do, you do, once you get pre the first time, you tend to get it the second time. And it's supposed to not do that anymore after that, supposedly. Uh, but I'm not planning on having any more pregnancies. But we're not going to, we're not, we, we, we decided, we talked about it, that we're not going to actively, we're going to actively not try to get pregnant, you know what I mean? You know, like use precautions. But if we ever did get pregnant, we would keep it, obviously. You know, it's just how we are, that's how we feel. Um, so... 
we're never we're never gonna plan for another baby but that doesn't mean another baby may not ever come you know you never know anyways uh i'm gonna crochet look there's that bright yellow thing right here it's one of jesse's little lobsters i made him he loves these little lobsters he plays them all the time i made him three he has a yellow one a red one and a black one and he has a turtle and right here's his axolotl he wants me to make one of these just like this but without the gills so that it's just a salamander because he wants a salamander and he wants it this color so i need to do that i just hate this pattern <laughs> there's too many too much shaping in it but uh, yeah there's little crochet guys laying everywhere in our house because jesse wants to keep everything that i make which is cool except in a year or so he'll have to start sharing with june because <laughs> she's gonna want them i hope that she's like a typical girly girl so that i can buy her baby dolls and stuff but i wasn't a girly girl so maybe she won't be but jesse is a typical boy he's definitely cars dinosaurs monsters you know stuff like that he doesn't want anything pink i don't know why because we didn't raise him that way you know to be picky it's just he's just that way it's just how he is but anyways i'm going to hop off here and i'll catch up with you guys later hopefully if i feel better i'm starting to feel a little bit better now it might have just been this morning that i was feeling bad what time is it oh, i'm gonna take my shot in a few minutes my alarm's gonna go off in, in three minutes um i'll put this in my thing and i'll show that to you guys for sure and if i don't think we're doing anything today Devin's over at his dad's house right now cutting up that deer leg <laughs> to uh, marinate it. And, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess, for now. A lot of my Vlogtober is probably going to be on the couch, <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm going to hop off here, and I'll catch up with you guys later today.